guys, Shane Starnes with DroidModerX.com. Today I'm going to show you guys the one-click method for unlocking, rooting, installing Clockwork Mod Recovery uh, onto your Nexus 10 device. This method is available uh, due to the work of the developer M. Skip. He has uh, developed the Nexus 10 toolkit, which just makes everything incredibly easy for us. So I'm going to show you guys how to use this toolkit today. So the first thing you want to do on your device is head into Settings. And you go all the way down to About Tablet. And you'll click on this Build Number until you see the developer options over here and then you'll select that and then you go to USB debugging go ahead and plug your device into your computer and it will automatically uh, read your device and install the drivers onto your PC once those drivers are installed you're ready to begin okay so you want to head to the link in the description and grab the Nexus 10 toolkit um, I would recommend getting the donate version because there's an update feature in there uh, that you can auto update it inside of the Nexus 10 toolkit without having to go back to the XDA thread uh, to reinstall it from there and we'll go ahead and open up the Nexus 10 toolkit okay so it's asking do we want to update it uh, mine's already up to date so I'm going to say no and click enter and the version that I'm on is Android 4.2.0 so we'll click 1 and enter and what we want to do today is the one click for all unlock root uh, busy box custom recovery the whole nine we're gonna go ahead and do that so that's option number eight you do want to make sure that your device is listed here in ADB mode um, and then for that option it says that we need to be in ADB mode so you must let's see no okay I'm sorry on this one we actually need to be in fast boot mode so to get to fast boot mode so we'll pick up our device and we'll hold both volume buttons and also the power button at the same time until it reboots into the bootloader mode okay so this is the bootloader mode that's where you want your device to be so we'll update the menu and we should be under fast boot now so our serial number should show up under fast boot mode and now we can select number eight and it's asking do we want super user by chain uh, chain ZD or Super SU by Chain Fire. Personally, I'm just going to go with number two. And do we want Clockwork Mod Recovery or Team Win Recovery Project? Personally, I would rather Team Win Recovery Project, so I'll go with two. And then it's it's telling us some important information. Make sure you read through that and understand everything before you go through. When you unlock your bootloader, it is going to wipe everything, so just keep that in mind. And uh, we're going to move forward and type in yes and select enter. Is your boot ready, bootloader already unlocked? The answer is no. Right now we're locked. So now if you go back to the device, so on your screen you see the warning here that you could possibly damage your Nexus 10 device with if you unlock it. Uh, so what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and select yes. And this is, says that it may void your warranty. So hit the power up and then select that with the power button. So you see here it does say that it's unlocked and then the toolkit has already kind of started doing its thing again. Okay, so now it's telling us that uh, we need to follow the instructions here. It says on our device, uh, when the device boots into stock recovery, you will not see any menu. To show this menu, stand the tablet upright on a soft surface, then press and hold the power button. Then the right short away right away so okay the power button which is right here so we'll go ahead and press that and then very quickly we'll press the volume up like so and that's gonna bring up the stock recovery menu so from that menu I guess we're gonna wipe volume let's see what it says here yeah not wipe volume wipe data so we'll scroll down to wipe data and it's kinda of blurry there but it will be the third option and we'll select that with the power button and then we'll go down to yes and delete all user data so I'm pretty sure what happens is when it unlocks the bootloader it doesn't automatically wipe the data that's why we have to go in there and do it manually it says once complete and back in the menu press the power button to reboot the device press any key to continue so now it's just waiting for the device to boot back up and then it will continue its process so now the device is booting back up. The Google screen had a little unlocked padlock down there, so we know that the device is now unlocked. 
this initial boot may take a while because we did just wipe data. Okay, so we're going to need to go back into the device and enable USB debugging. So we're just going to go back into settings. And about tablet. Click on that build number until the device option, or the developer options comes up and then we're going to select USB debugging. And OK. And now our toolkit should be able to read the device. And it'll begin its process again. It's rebooting back into fast boot mode. Then it's going to boot into Android with an insecure boot image. So it's waiting for device, continuing in 10 seconds. Now it's pushing the super user. It says root procedure is complete. And it's renaming the recovery file so that it'll always boot in there. Whenever we go into fast boot, now we'll be able to scroll over to boot into recovery and that'll boot up twerp. It's installed BusyBox. And the process is just about finished. Okay, now it's booting back into fast boot mode. Flashing Team Win Recovery Project. And you can kind of watch your device that's doing everything, and you can see on your device that all of this is taking place. It says, Congratulations, you have hacked it. So we're totally done. Your device is going to boot back into the Android operating system. You should now have root and be unlocked and have your custom recovery installed. Okay, so now we're just going to check to see if we have root. We'll go in here and we should see our super SU. It is there. So we'll go into the Play Store and we'll download the root checker. Go ahead and open up the root checker. And it's asking for super user permission. We'll go ahead and grant that. We do know that it's already rooted. And it says congratulations, the device has root access. Now we'll go ahead and boot into uh, recovery mode. The way you'll do that is power and both volume rocker buttons until you get into the bootloader mode. Okay, so now we'll just use the arrows to scroll into recovery mode and select power. That should take us into Team Win Recovery Project. And it does. So guys, that has been the quick and easy method, uh, the one-click way of rooting, unlocking, installing Clockwork Mod Recovery or Team Win Recovery Project to your Nexus 10 device. You can check me out at droidmoderx.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Big shout outs to Skip who got this all working. I know he worked really hard to get this all put together to make it super easy and new proof for us. Um, but anyways guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. We'll go ahead and open the box. And voila, there is our new HTC Droid DNA phone with that massive 5-inch screen. So we'll go ahead and take it.